Hi you guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna show you how I do my Shizu haircut using the clipper bag system. This is the Hamby hair bag system. Um, it comes in the Hamby bands, but you can buy it on their website. So I turn my section down a tiny bit whenever I'm working on a Shizu coat, um, but you can have it a little bit higher than you would on like say a Yorkie, but I still really do everything how I've done it in previous videos, so if you've watched other haircut videos of mine, this is going to be very similar, um, but there's a few things I do a little bit differently now that I use my hair back system. Um, I really like the hair back because I think it speeds up the groom, and it also makes less cleanup, less hair on you. Y'all know I don't wear like an apron or like the groom clothes per se. I like wearing my regular clothes. And before I was using the hair back, I would definitely be covered in hair by the end of the day. Um, but with the hair back, I really don't have that issue anymore. Like, I mean, you're, I'm going to get some hair on my clothes, but it's just not anywhere near the amount that I was getting. Uh, and I don't think I said, but I'm using the oak comb, the wall the yellow one, um, and I'm using a 30 or a tarot blade underneath that guard comb. So, um, really right now I'm not grooming to be perfect, I'm just rushing her out, I guess you could say. So once I get the bulk off the body, I'm going to go down one guard to the peach comb. Watch the tails and the ears when you're using the clipper back. That's the one thing is that it, it will suck them up in there. Um, so again, just back here. And you can also do like in between the legs. Really have to be careful. You can take these eyelashes off in like 0.1 second. 
So anyway, I did the lavender guard on top. This is my creative. I'm going to put everything in the description below. So if I don't say what I'm using, don't worry, it'll be in the description, okay? So dropping down two links from what we used on the top. I'm gonna grab this blue. I like to take out right here by the ear. And again, be careful, this is where you can easily take off those eyelashes. One skim wrong and that eyelash is gone. I've done it. Actually, I just kind of did it to that other one. I, I only took off about half of it, but I'm telling y'all, it's it's easy to do. Um, so anyway, same thing over here. And then I'm gonna just kind of grab this front chin here, here, and now, I groom these dogs every four weeks, so they are super well-behaved, super good girls, aren't you? This one is my special little favorite girl, Miss Selene Wee. I'm sure I've done videos on her before. Okay, so there's the blue. Okay, now the rest we're going to hand scissor. So, I'm going to grab my Utsumi Half Moon Comb. You could also use the Chris Christensen one, the one that looks like this. I really like these um, for doing the like Asian fusion faces. Now this is when I use the loop because I need her to keep her head up for me. Especially whenever I go to trim the ears. I really need her head up. So I'm just gonna, this is a groomer's helper loop. By the way, I think somebody asked me about this recently. Um, and I like these groomer helper loops because they have like the unlatch, like a collar under here. I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, and you can also, you know, loop them to the side, like if they were really wiggly or whatever. These girls obviously don't need that. Okay. So, come up between these eyes and get some of this darker colored hair. watching, um, you know, Jay Scruggs and Suzeko, they did a video, or Jay did, um, on their Instagram, it was talking about getting, like, it was actually, like, under the beard level, and he's saying to go both ways like that, so I've been doing that for my visors, too. So, I'm liking how that's looking so far. Now, can you see this eyelash here? I'm gonna take it put my thumb over it, okay? Now I'm gonna take this stuff and brush it kind of forward onto my thumb.
know some people are really opposed to eyelashes, and if you hate them, then guess what? You don't have to do them, okay? But these clients really like the eyelashes, and these are arguably my best clients. I have some that are right up there with them, but these guys have followed me since the beginning through my house call and everything. So if they want eyelashes, they get eyelashes.
go ahead and trim a little bit because it just makes them look a little neater and more put together. Good girls. having them in the loop now because a lot of times especially when you're working on ears they just kind of hang their head down and it's really hard to make sure that everything's even I was just looking at her while she's looking at me like that you can just tell this needs to be cut back some okay. now I could tell whenever I was trimming on her face Somebody could 
kind of hold him still. But I was thinking, like, I had one that was a biter the other day, and, like, nobody could have held him because he would have swung and tried to bite them, you know? It's like, and it's more dangerous when you don't know what he's aiming for. Whereas, like, if he's just trying to bite me, I know what he's aiming for. Okay, so here's Miss Chanel up in the hound hammock. This is a medium sized hound hammock. You can get it at houndhammock.org. So, um, actually, I'm going to start with nails. Okay, this Dremel, it's by, actually, I still have the box. Let me show it to you because this is like an obsession of mine. Okay, so my client, one of my best clients, got this for me. And it's called the Dremel Cordless Pet Nail Grooming Kit Paw Control. That's This is the box he gave it to me in. This thing is so nice. I'm obsessed. It's so quiet. The dogs really don't seem to mind it. Um, it's nice for, like, pet parents, too, because it does have this thing, you know, where, it, you know, you put the little nail through the hole so that it's harder for the owners to accidentally quick their dogs. Sorry, uh, Selena, I'm not paying attention. I have this all up in your face. Um, but yeah, so you can, you put like one of these on and you, like if the parents wanted to do it, they can do this. Um, but then you can also like remove that and make it just a regular journal like what we would use. And I'm telling you guys, this one's just so nice. Like I just really like it.
my shears, by the way, are fresh groom shears, except for my thinners. My thinners are actually the Zolitas by Olga. And like, they cut nice. I just think that maybe some shear companies in the grooming industry need to do like a little catch up or maybe should go talk to like some of the cosmetology shear companies because they sent out these shears this like really did bother me. Um, so they send out these shears, right? You need a specific key to be able to tighten these. And when I received mine, they didn't give me a key. So now I actually have a couple. I had to email Zolita and get them to send them to me. And they did tell me that they do not actually provide these with the shears, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. This is like a 0.2 cent piece of metal that there's no reason that they can't provide. Um, so anyway, that's why these aren't on my list of things I'd recommend, which sucks because I actually think that they do a nice job, but I'm not going to tell you guys to go buy a shear that doesn't even come with the key that you need um, to be able to use them because like I had to, like mine needed to be adjusted and I had to sit there and wait until my shit came in the mail so I could adjust them. It was just so ridiculous to me. So anyway, um, and I like these, I do because this comb is also by them. And I do think their combs are really nice. I just, like I said, I think maybe if you don't understand like this sheer business, then don't be a part of it. That's probably mean, but I'm just saying like, if you don't know enough to provide the key that you have to have to adjust the shears, then like, just to me, it's like, like it was like trying to be bougie, but like missed the mark. Yeah. But, you know, I get it. They're nice. It's, you know, I don't hate them. I just wouldn't recommend them because of the lack of keys to be able to use them properly. Okay. So, when I do these feet, I like to comb this stuff up. That's also why I like to use these uh, fine tooth combs because if she had any tangles at all between her toes, it would pick it up. So I'm trying to do this with y'all being able to see on camera. So I'm just going to go over her leg. I like to kind of go back and forth. This is just going to make it a little bit easier when I'm finishing the leg to like make sure everything is nice and blended.
girl Celine. Hey. Okay. Shave these paw pads out. This Creativa is my favorite too, by the way. I had somebody ask me the other day, like, what five and one I would recommend. I've tried a couple now. I've tried the Bravira. I've tried the Pulse Li Five and the Creativa. And this one's hands down my favorite. Um, and actually, you might be able to see why. Because you see, it's dying right now. It'll go until it literally runs out of battery. And then I have a second battery. And I just switch it out. So literally always stays charged. So I love that. So again, I'm just going to brush this little foot out. Like I said, I really like to do it with this fine tooth comb just to make sure there's no tangles that I missed during the blow dry. So typically that's when I do the brush out. Using my small shears, I'm going to trim around this ball pad. Always around, never into. Some people like to be that way. That's terrifying to me. So I personally don't trim in between the pad with my shears. It seems dangerous to me. But there was a class I took a long time ago that said to do that. I was like, I bet you are insane. So I'm going to take a whole paw pad off doing that. But Was just 
brush all this hair down and I'm just taking those same little shears I have and just trimming it in a circle.
use the peach guard, right? And then I back combed and went over the peach guard again. That I, I've literally heard people say that it would not, it would be shorter than the peach guard, which is impossible. Like, use your logic. Like, this is on there, and if I go over it, this is as short as it will allow it to be. Is at the half inch. So even if I back comb and go over it again, that's not going to magically make it shorter. If you have a solid argument on how it would make it shorter, please argue with me. I love a solid argument on that, but I just don't think that you there. I don't think the argument's there. I just don't. I don't think that you have the ground to stand on with that one. <laughs> in my opinion. You know what a lot of it is? is people are so afraid to change the way that they do things that they'd rather just like make up an excuse. Like, oh well, it'll actually like mess up your whole haircut if you do it that way, but you know, whatever you want to do. And they scare away other groomers that want to try something different. Ridiculous. And again, I'm holding her right above her elbow. So same thing. Um, it's just going to make it a little bit harder for her to pull her leg away from me if she wanted to try that. See, see like, you, they can still pull, but you just have to, like, place them again. It's like when you're teaching a dog to sit, and they stand, and you have to sit them again. It's literally the same thing. Like, you're like, oh, no, we don't need you to stand. Sorry. Just a movement out there. Just making sure it wasn't my like I do think that's what it is, is like some old school groomers, like, you know, are opposed to like the new age things. Cause that's anybody I've talked to that's like, you know, says somebody's against back brushing. It's never a new groomer. It's like some groomer that's been doing it since the dinosaurs roamed and they don't want to change their style, which is fine. I get it. I'm a creature of habit too, but you don't take it out on other people other groomers out of doing the things that they want to do because you're scared all right now so that's really cool of it so we're just gonna change out our guard go back to the main length that we're using on the body Like, you really don't have to 
check behind yourself as much. Like, um, you know, when you're doing it regular, like, you can go over them, like, four freaking times and still be getting hair and it not be perfect. But with this, it's like back brushing as you're grooming. So I just think it's so nice. Not my clipper, my hair bag, sorry. It's actually not a clipper bag. <laughs> But I'm sure the clipper bag works just the same, so don't worry if that's all you got. You don't have to have the handy one. That's just, I have a handy band, so that's what mine came with. Just again, just making sure it's all the stuff in my drawers so we can take on them out of here. Now if you don't trust your dog then definitely put them back on the loop for this part because usually they know that this means they're done once you put all your tools down and everything. I'll show y'all some this whole DMK bib. Oh and the bow is by Bardell.